Breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Your breakfast. No, seriously, I want your breakfast. You ever put your in between a hot omelet? That's if I directed American Pie. It would be called wet omelet. <laughs> Are you gonna let omelet? Oh, hey, this is good. The way I rank it is I do I, I do rank it like this. Number one, number two, wet omelet. Number three, strangers. Number four, dead person. What is this content? It's not for anyone but me. Welcome to Epic Meal Time. We're making the whole McDonald's breakfast menu inside a burrito. It's motherfucking 10 30 a.m. Yeah. I got up early today because we're cruising by McDonald's and I got to get every single item on the breakfast menu at McDonald's. I thought they did all day breakfast. They don't? What is that? A lie? Or they changed their mind? Or that's the US? McDonald's should just open up breakfast locations where it's like just the breakfast, but you can also get a Big Mac. Don't be distracted by the puddle that my wet hair is making on my t-shirt. I know it's ugly, but I feel like this is a thing that happens to wrestlers all the time. My wrestling name is Batigu. That was my dick's nickname in high school. It means little taste. If you're gonna be making big ass breakfast burrito, you gotta have the bacon. All that other stuff, it all is delicious, but you gotta add extra bacon. This hurts our feelings. One strip, half a strip, I don't even know what this is. So you know we gotta re-fortify our breakfast burrito with extra bacon. This is just nothing. Now I know, they're beautiful. They come well packaged, compact, ready to go. But we need to chop these up to fit in our burrito. We can't have any obtuse shapes that could make a perforation in our tortilla shell, no. We gotta chop them up so give us foldability with the maneuvering. But don't worry, it's gonna get a new home. You know what I always hated? You know those people that are like, McDonald's is disgusting. Yeah, so are dicks and dicks, but we still suck them and eat them. Look at this bad boy right here. We threw the entire McDonald's menu into this bad boy. Ooh, this is a little baby. Look at the little McDonald's breakfast menu burrito baby. <laughs> this is one of those times where I'm looking at this bad boy and I'm like, yo. I'm ready to eat this bad boy. Yo, this looks like my dog. Look at it. This is like my dog's dad. Look at him. He's a breakfast burrito. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I'm looking at the epic meal and I'm like, ah, oh, weird timeline I live in. And other times I look at this bitch and I'm like, suck a mana. That's a good thing, by the way. People are always like, yo, what's your favorite epic meal? What's your favorite epic meal? Honestly, I love the breakfast ones. Not me. Cause that's an egg. Amir hates eggs, he's gotta eat all the meat parts. This is like a real, real mixed lottery for me. It's like if I get a bite of egg, it could totally throw my whole entire experience off. McDonald's has to add cheese to their hash browns. No joke. Honestly, the bacon grease dripping on everything or being on everything helps. It might help cover the egg. Helps your heart also. Helps your heart tap out. Look like you were sucking an invisible dick for a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eh? You've been partying all weekend. Now you can eat a big food, eh? Yeah! I'm gonna use it as like a little treat bag. Right. Mm. I love McDonald's breakfast. Honestly, I was really hungover when I got here. Mm -hmm. This just <laughs> brought me back to life. Yeah. Like, I'm ready to go to the club. The clubs aren't even open, but I'll go wait in line to get to the club. You wait in line to get to the club? Yeah. When you wait in line when you're at the club. That's it. Two lines. Guys, you don't know this, but Marlon, the guy holding the camera, never got at the clubs in Montreal. Every bouncer hated him. Now that he films Epic Meal Time, and he's usually on for like two seconds, this guy gets into every club right away. And that's what he does. He goes clubbing all the time. So this worked out for him. You like it good? What do you mean is it good? We added cheese and hot sauce to McDonald's sandwiches. That's pretty good. <laughs> Syrup? Syrup? No, come on. That's a crazy move. It's not even syrup, it's hot cake sauce. <laughs> it's not even pancakes, it's hot cakes. You know what, I think he's on to I, I bet it does taste. It has to have a flavor burst with the syrup. And it was a good bite. It was a good bite. I've never put Frank's Red Hot on a pancake. I never had Frank's Red Hot with syrup, actually. Actually, great idea. We should start making some specialty items. That would be great, like spicy syrup. Well, I already failed in the jerky business. Maybe I'll fail in the syrup business, too. And by the way, guys, EpicMealTime.com. We're selling shirts, retro bacon strip shirts. Check it out, EpicMealTime.com. Next time we eat a dinosaur dick. Good morning. Hey, you wanna play some Halo? Nah, man. I, I got a thing to do today. What things do you have to do? Man, I gotta do dishes, pet the dog. Wash the dog, clean the dog's teeth, clean my teeth. I, I don't know, man. Like, tonight's tough. I can smell something's up. What do you smell? It smells like daddy's balls. 
You said you were doing the dishes, but all your cutlery is plastic and you have paper plates. <sighs> Wait a second, are you bashing me for reusing and washing my paper plates and disposable cutlery? Excuse me for giving a shit about the environment, okay? Okay, but that's why people use disposable plates. You don't have to wash them, you throw them out after. Hey, hey, listen. Well, you think you're like, a, like an activist now? You're uh, like some sort of environmental uh, activist? <laughs> You know, I actually watched Leo's documentary before the flood. It changed me. That docu, that Leonardo DiCaprio documentary from five years ago, that piece of shit. Hey, that. That movie could suck my. Okay, relax. It's a film. An object can't suck your. Rash on that Blu-ray. I'll f Leonardo DiCaprio up too. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't. You said shouldn't. Like an old woman from Britain. Like, I shouldn't have this glass of wine. I bet Leo says shouldn't. I bet he doesn't. Titanic. Titanic. Right? It was amazing. Oh, dude, you remember the violinist, bro? Yeah. Motherfucking gangsters, they right? so hard to Everyone's play. like running left and right. They kept playing. That's all well, they Well, the, the band was gonna leave, but one guy kept playing and the other guys were like, yo, we'll look yeah. like if we don't fucking ride or die with our homie over here. That's it, imagine that a symphony of a lifetime. I never knew that violinist like squatted up so hard like that. You know what I mean? I didn't think it was like that. And you remember that captain who stayed on the boat while it was sinking. Bro, if I was the captain, I would have gone up to those lifeboats and I would have been like, yo, I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> if I was one of the violinists, would you die with me? For sure. You would sit there playing with me? Yeah, I'd be like tripping people too with my like, little <laughs> thing. <laughs> 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 What were we talking about? We were arguing about something, I don't remember. You wanna play some Halo? Oh, sure. Hell yeah. What were you gonna do today? Do you know what gooning is, Sauce Boss? No, I don't know what gooning is. Mm. Why don't you show me?